hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i had bought a few more briars and ish likes um a nice big box of likes, i should say <laughs> uh just to let you know two of these briars are a little bit more older um and i do not have these horses one of them is a racing legend so yeah <laughs> but anyways there might be a part two i personally do not know but let's get right into the video so we're going to start off with the briars since it's going to be a little bit more easier to open. We have this race of legend. Uh, what is your name? Oh, Forgo. <laughs> I have no clue on history about this horse, but once I saw him, I knew I had to get him. This, he's probably very rare to find now since, of course, it's an older, an older mold probably. So yeah. So I got my scissors here. Get him out of his box. <clears throat> sorry if you hear noise. That's my mom up here. And now she's going downstairs. So sorry if you hear that. Oh my good lord. <laughs> There's so much tape. Okay. I think we're good now. Get this beautiful boy out of the world. Hello. <laughs> Let's see. Take a look at that. Looks there for now. Okay. So of course, in the bottom of the box, it has all this fun little jazz. So it's very, very interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm probably not gonna need this. I'm just gonna throw that out. And if you guys cannot tell about how old this briar is. It has the old um, flip thing that it comes with it in the bottom of the box. Um, if you guys do not know what the original one looks like, it looks like this. This is the one that you would usually get with the horses now in the box. So that is a very big difference. But I have another one of these somewhere in here or in my rooms somewhere. But yeah, it is very weird. This, this shows you how old this horse is and because it has this. But we're going to look through that now. I'll look through that later. Right now, we're going to try to get is this guy out. So, yeah, I see his blanket. Boop. Ooh, I love these. Okay, so I am going to pause the video so I can get him unboxed. And then once he's out of the box, then I will continue. So, BRD, guys. Okay, I finally got out of the box. Here is Forgo. He is one very gorgeous thoroughbred. He is very gorgeous. And... I love his mane. That's like probably one of my favorite things I like about him is his mane. His mane's very, really well textured. Like, look at that. Uh, it's very gorgeous. He's a very beautiful horse. Um, his blanket's very interesting. <laughs> I've never seen a blanket like this out of the blankets I have right now. So, yeah, this is, um, this is very interesting but yet i think i have an idea on how this is supposed to go on him because it kind of looks familiar of one of his other one of his other uh one of another blanket so i'm gonna attempt to put this on <laughs> if i do it wrong please let me know if i'm doing it wrong because i have never done a blanket this way this uh this blanket is very very different and i have never seen it but yet again i think i know how this blanket works because it kind of looks similar to a blanket that I don't have but I seen it on Amazon a whole lot so let me just tie the front here Yeah, good enough. <laughs> 
So I think this is how his book is supposed to go. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I did that bad for the first time I'm doing this. This is a very interesting blanket. But yeah, there's two of these. So the um, one has Velcro goes under the tail so you can remove it. And then the one goes up here, right? Right, pretty much right on his brow, I guess you could say. And then these front pieces are here, you would tie. So that's a very interesting blanket. First time I have one of these. And I'm very, it's interesting. I don't really know what to say. It's just a very interesting blanket, but I like it. So we're going to move on to the next one. But before I move on to the next one, I'm going to show you some more blankets that I got. Um, a lady bought, uh, not bought, um, made these and I thought they were really cool blankets and I really liked them. So I decided to get one. I'm kidding. I got two, so I have more blankets from my briars for winter here. So it's your original little blanket. So I like them. So I'm going to throw this one up here for my next briar. And then this is the other blanket I'll take out in this package later. So right now, here is the Breeds of the World. This is the Cabela Abaco um, Barb. Um... This is my first time having this model. I say this. This is Porsche is probably real hard to come by, but this stallion is very pretty, and I decided to get him. There was a chestnut version of this model, but I didn't have enough money to get the other one. But that is okay because this horse is very gorgeous, and yeah. So I'm gonna take him out of his package and show you guys up close. So I'm gonna pause the video yet again. Be here with you guys. Okay, I finally got out of the package, and look at this guy. He is a long, gorgeous horse. I don't know if there's, like, a name for this horse, um, but if not, I'll give him a name. There's two names that popped up in my head for him, but I'm not going to tell you guys because I'm just going to do a little bit of research on this horse just to see if there's actually a name for this horse. If not, then um, I'm just going to name him. So if there is, if you have this horse and you know the, and you know what the original name is for this horse, please let me know in the comments and then I won't name him. <laughs> but yeah, he is one very gorgeous horse. Um, but we're going to try this blanket on him. And I think this blanket's made for this, made, ugh, is made for this, um, mold because where I got this, where I got this blanket from, it was on the same kind of, um, uh, mold. But I think it could be made for other ones because it's pretty, it's a good size, I know. But yeah, that's the blanket. Yeah, very pretty. <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, sorry if you hear my parents talking very loud. Um, for the sorry for background noises, pretty much. But next is the last briar I got, and it's the famous 2018 Triple Cow winner, Justify. I've been wanting this horse for a while, but of course, I keep forgetting about him for a racing champion. So, as you guys know, I have Secretariat, and now I have Forgo, and for, for go, sorry, Ugh. and American Pharaoh, and now I have Justify. I am still waiting on getting California Chrome. I really want to get Zenyatta, but it's very hard to find her now since she's pretty much retired, so they don't make any molds of her anymore. So it's very hard to find Zenyatta now, and I've really been dying to get her since she's such amazing filly, but it's hard to find her now. But hopefully, I can find her eventually. Hopefully someone who has the mold is selling. Hopefully. <laughs> but anyways, we're now going to open up Justify. So BRB until I get him out of his package. Okay, I finally got out of the package. And like, look at this horse. I love what they did to this. I don't even know what to call it. But <laughs> I guess... I don't really know what they call it. I really do not remember what they call it, but holy crap. <laughs> this thing is gorgeous. And there is an extra piece. <laughs> oh, he is so beautiful. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Jeez. 
Jeez, like it's got gorgeous detailing. Gross bear. <laughs> Damn, is this hole's gorgeous. <laughs> but anyways, Justify is finally out of his package and holy crap is this horse gorgeous. I just love his detailing and just wow. Briar outdid themselves again with another Triple Crown winner horse. Too bad no no horse won this year in 2019. Personally for me, none of the, none of the horses this year weren't really that good this year. The most... The most main horse I was mostly going for was Country House the whole entire time. Even though he really had a bad start through his pretty much his, almost his whole entire career. But yet again, he that horse is still pretty good. Um, I'm hoping that 2020 is going to be a, another great year for horse racing. And hopefully that we get another Triple Crown winner. Um, even though we didn't have one this year. But there's always a special... There's always going to be that special horse like Secretariat, Justify, American Pharaoh, Zenyatta, and any other racehorse legends out there that won the Triple Crown. But, yeah. So, jeez, look at that. Sorry if it, you guys probably can't even see. But there is a vein in his face. That starts from his eye. Starts from his eye and then okay, I'm not going for it. Starts from his eye then goes to like up here, right up here on his nose. That is very good detailing. Jeez. But yeah. Wowzer. <laughs> okay. Let's run up there. So next is the Schleich. And this box is huge. Um yeah. So this thing, I have to make it. Um, it. It came out this year in January. At least January. Probably like a few months later. But this is the... If you guys can't tell by the box, small smidge of it. Uh, it doesn't really tell you. But anyways, I'm just going to show it to you guys. So this is what I got. And personally, I'm running out of room. But I'm going to make room. <laughs> uh... My, these three briars are sitting up here in my room so that baby Floga has some company since so she's the only briar up here. So, yeah, I'm excited. But let's get this thing opened and show you guys what it has and then I think I'm going to end it so that I can make another video for you guys to how to make this. So, let me open it and then I'll show you guys what's inside and then I will go to part two of the video. Okay, and we're going to put my scissors. <laughs> Open. Oh my good lord, this box is not gonna open today. Say no, I don't wanna open. You know what? Screw that. It's gonna be easier to open it up this way, anyways. So, now I'm going to show you guys what's on the inside, and then I'm going to end it. So, here is what it is on the inside of the box, if you are planning on getting this. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in part two of this video, so that I can show you guys how to make this. Alright? See you in part two, guys.